Oh no, NetFab Basic is no more. And it's true, you can't download NetFab Basic from Autodesk anymore. But there is still a way to get the same functionality for free legally from Autodesk in the NetFab package. And I'll show you how. So let's head over to the workstation. So as we head over to netfab.com, the only two options we're getting is to download a 30-day free trial or to subscribe to one of their monthly plans starting at $125. However, if we head over to the blog and scroll down a bit, there's this post right here, NetFab Basic is now just NetFab. And in this post, they're essentially saying, hey, if you want what used to be NetFab Basic, you can download the free NetFab trial, get the full functionality of NetFab Premium for the first 30 days, and then downgrade to the unlicensed NetFab version, which is what NetFab Basic used to be. But I personally prefer my software to keep the same functionality throughout the time I use it. So I'm gonna show you the way to install NetFab without that trial period and to go straight to the basic NetFab unlicensed version. And that starts by downloading the free trial as Autodesk suggested. You do have to fill out all this information, but they don't check if it's valid at all. So in my case, I just fill it out with some bogus information and that's not going to impact the experience we have with the NetFab install later on. Unfortunately, at this point, Autodesk NetFab is Windows only. So if you have a Mac or run a Linux system, you will have to use something like Wine to get it running. I do have a feeling it's gonna run rather well in that emulator environment, but if you're curious, just give it a go. The download is just shy of 666 megabytes. So once the download is complete, go ahead, run the installer and install NetFab Premium. The magic will happen in a second. All right, so once the installer has finished, you do want to launch NetFab Premium, but you do not want to install the Autodesk Network License Manager. Now the official way of getting a free NetFab license would be through not entering a serial number. However, we can also simply close this window and this will not start the licensing process. In the next window that's gonna pop up, it's gonna tell us no valid license found. Hit the checkbox, always start non-licensed version and then start the non-licensed version. And that is it. Autodesk will tell you about personal data collection and that sort of stuff. If you're not happy with that, simply turn that off in the help menu. And there you go, there is your Autodesk NetFab 2017.1 not licensed version. It is going to tell you no valid license found in the program window. You can just click that clear and use it as you would your regular NetFab basic install. Obviously all the functionality from auto repair to scaling, rotating, aligning parts are still there. And as usual, if you want to save an STL that you imported and modified, head over to part, export part as STL and save your new STL there. All right, and that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, or checking out the other ways to support this channel in the video description. See you in the next one.